What's going on Jets fans? Welcome to another video. So currently I'm getting ready to leave the house. Uh, I believe it's like 6 a.m. or something like that. I don't even know. I'm tired. I worked the other day. But nonetheless, getting on the flight in a little bit, going to be leaving for the airport. Uh, this is the start of the first real trip I've ha been able to go on that involves an airplane or even anything of major travel since COVID. So I'm very excited, uh, a little a little nervous to see how everything functions. Uh, I've heard mixed reviews about airports nowadays. So Let's see how this uh, trip to Winnipeg is going to work. Alright, so right now we're in the airport chilling. Got Tra Carl's Jr. for breakfast. Weird that they had that, but I had to go with it because why would I not go with Carl's Jr.? Uh, flight leaves in about an hour, so now I'm sitting away from people so I can enjoy my breakfast with my mask off and not be judged. First time in like what four years or I think it's been since I've been here and my family forgot what time it was and they were a little late so now I have to wait probably get a coffee but good flight easy I guess you know considering that it's COVID I didn't know what to expect really relaxed I felt like with the restrictions like I thought you had to keep your mask on even when you eat like one you know like one bite of your pretzel pull it down and eat it type thing but they weren't like that at all it was pretty pretty relaxing so you know happy to be here Jets games in like five hours so gotta go to the home, grab something to eat, and head out to the game. Oh, all right, so we have arrived in Winnipeg. I'm at my aunt's house where I always stay. Had a good flight, like I said. Went to Polo Park, visited some family that were at work since I arrived on a Tuesday. And I'm so special, I didn't make them take off any time, though, because I'm so nice. Either way, Jets game is tonight. We're going to have the game recap reaction come out, as we usually do. But that being aside, there's going to be some extra additional footage in this video, the vlog video, because why not? Uh, and if you're wondering how I'm going to be doing this, when I go to the game, obviously there's going to be irl stuff in the game recap reaction because i'll be doing it with zach on the friday game against the blackhawks um and then also the game on the sunday against the islanders in that back-to-back -back. i will be at the bomber game that night not the jets game so i'll have to cover it in a weird highlight way with me at the bomber stadium it's gonna be fun and i know you guys are gonna enjoy it uh i'm just happy to experience some winnipeg sports right now uh now that everything's back and that covid is finally winding down and if it's not who the hell cares but i can travel so that's all i care about but nonetheless we're here, finally, back in Peg City. Ironically, this sunroom that I'm in right now recording and will record a lot of the videos in, this is why I did my first ever face reveal on my old channel, Canadian Zombie, down in the description, as always. I will never not, you know, plug that just because whatever, nostalgic for me. But yeah, like five, six years ago, first face reveal on YouTube. So it's a little funny to be in here now on the new channel filming like this for this content and everything. But either way, I'm happy to be in Winnipeg and I cannot wait to go to the game. It's in two hours actually the 10 minutes the chevy press conference will happen so let's go uh, get an update after we watch that conference all i'm gonna say about that press conference i'm just gonna make my statement in this video because i already tweeted it out <sighs> there's no accountability whatsoever you know shovel damp i assumed it would be handled i assumed that it's this i why didn't you call or reach out i assumed someone else would all i'm gonna say is when you assume you make an ass out of you and me that old saying is 100 percent truth to this matter Maybe Chevy didn't do everything that he could have done. And that's what I really agree. And honestly, I think that if you find out that anyone does something like that and you don't get the police involved, then you're at fault, in my opinion. And that's just my own opinion. Um, but I, I don't think with such a sub subject matter and such a situation like this, there should be any leeway with getting police involved. And especially the fact that they apparently gave him a reference, which hasn't been confirmed yet. But if he actually got a reference after all that to go work with the high school and the colleges, then that's some serious issues for the entire organization. I, I uh... Yeah, I didn't like that press conference. I still think there should be more of a punishment, but what do I know? I'm a fan, uh, and fans have differently, and I love Shevel Dayoff. This really has fucked me over with my opinion of him the last, like, week and a bit because I think he's one of the most underrated GMs in the entire league, and now he's going to be always have this, you know, asterisk next to his name of being involved in that scandal, and I, I just feel like that statement, that, that press conference could have been more emotional. Obviously, Chipman brought up those that crying and that aspect of his life, and that's sorry that he has, he's had to deal with that, but... From Chevy especially, there should be more emotion, I feel like. And I, I just don't agree with how the whole situation has been handled. It's over now. 
at least in the Jets' standpoint, I think. I doubt anything else comes out that fires him at this point. So, you know, hopefully all the justice needs gets to be done to everyone else involved. Because if Chevy's not getting it, you know, the hammer's coming down on everybody else. So at least that's something. But it, in my opinion, Chevy should have been fired. And that's where I'll always stand on it in view. Um, I won't take away his credit of how great of a GM he's been. But you can say the same thing. But, but then how are you going to give that cre cre credit to Quinville, right? It's the same situation you find yourself in. Just a nasty situation all over the place, and I'm very relieved to be able to go to the game tonight and get all that out of my head. And Definitely won't be chanting True North during that anthem, but I'll still be enjoying the hockey game nonetheless. We are in, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to meet Zachary Nolan for the first time. Let's get it. I'm a happy man, and I don't even know how he scored. Because me and Jake keep talking about Anakin hey, Skywalker. Anakin Skywalker. And sad, because this looks like sad. Okay. How do you feel? Alright, so we got a mystery puck right here. Yeah, one Fourth. kid got Kyle Connor and his name wasn't even listed on the so, possible wins. Phil, Phil me that he got the puck. But the puck Zach's puts behind the, the selling camera. Zach's behind the camera, not Carter. Either way, 40 bucks for this. Let's see what we're gonna get. I swear if I get Eric Comrie. Alright, I don't wanna rip it, but it's I don't care at the Dude, same time. Dude, it's wrapping. Have you ever been to Christmas? What number? 21. Is that 21? No, it's yeah. 25. Are you sure? They didn't have 21. Ooh. Why does it say Andrew Kopp right below it? Like it does! Like <laughs> so it's Andrew Kopp, that's the number 9. We got Andrew Kopp on the sign puck. Oh, the P. He was dragging the P. Yeah, that there makes we sense. Go. There we go. Andrew Kopp on the puck. Should I absolutely incredible i still can't get over that finish also shout out to michael and zach you guys are absolute legends you know i got so busy on this trip that i forgot to actually vlog the moments and record it so on friday i went to the game as you guys already know with hot garbage sports zachary nolan and carter nolan from the Null hockey podcast the prey puck finally had a meetup it was an incredible night here are some clips that i have that i recorded from that game where we won against the blackhawks 5-1 What else can I say except go Jets go, man? They're flying right now. The that's, boys a, are that's, flying. A, that's a 2 0 flying. start. Hey, hey, what do you oh, think of the that's, start? That's a beautiful start. That's oh, a beautiful start, beautiful isn't it? Start. Banging, yes. crashing, catching the feet. Mm -mm. Flurry! Flurry! Ah! Mr. Stetsuko! I don't really have any footage of the Bomber game, so those were my seats. These are some absolute gems that I met at the game. You guys are all legends, and I had a great time. Bombers win, baby. So I've been back home for like, you know, I, almost a week now, and I've been putting this vlog together, and I realized how little I actually recorded after, you know, the first, I would say, three, four days. I would say most, more like the first four days, yeah, because 
I got so caught up in the moment. Like, if you guys haven't already seen, me and Carter made Zach this plunger type thing for him. Because if you know, don't already know, Zach has a plunger for when the Jets play horrible. It's kind of like his, uh, I don't even know what you would call it. But like, either way, it's just his thing that he has. And I, we made him a jet plunger. We went out and bought him one. We spray painted it. It was fun. But I didn't record any of that. Because I got so caught up in the moment visiting family, talking with you guys, and just experiencing my trip and just enjoying a real holiday to a different city. It's been so long since I've been able to travel with the pandemic as well, and I had a great time. I wish I was able to record more, but I'm really happy with what I had record recorded, obviously. I, I hope you guys enjoyed this little mini vlog of what it was like for me to come out there and enjoy these games, because I had a fantastic time. Uh, I was It was incredible. It really, really was. Um, I was already really excited about it, and I, you know, I was like, oh, it, it's going to be good and everything like that, but I was a little worried with COVID. I didn't know what would be closed and how the restrictions would work, but it was pretty good. I feel like I caught Manitoba right at a good time there with the cases and everything, and I had a great trip. It was great to visit family. It was great to meet all of you guys that I was able to meet at the Bomber Games and Jets Games. And uh, Zach, Carter, Ryan, it was it was a pleasure. I cannot wait to do that again. It was amazing going to a game with you guys. The best hockey game I've been to in an extremely long time. Not only because we won 5-1, but because of the fact that we just had a great time. It was awesome to watch hockey with such great guys and close friends of mine. So I hope you enjoyed this mini vlog. I will be back with more content soon. Hopefully I'll be able to go to Winnipeg when the playoffs happen. Uh, I'm going to have to look and figure out flights and everything like that because I don't know when I want to go out for the first, second, third round and hopefully the cup final, but we're going to have to wait and see. So with all that being said, peace, love, and positivity. Make sure to drop a like. Check out all three of those guys' channels. All of their links are actually like, only two of the channels because Zach and Carter share one, but I don't think I need to explain that anymore. But either way, have a great rest of your night. I hope you enjoyed this video. Go Jets go. Bye-bye.